how to speak English like a native with Beyonce. And they didn't even put up a fight. They didn't even make a sound. If you put up a fight, you offer resistance to an attack and fight back. She put up a fight when the thief tried to steal her purse. I found a way to let you in, but I never really had a doubt. This expression has both literal and figurative, metaphorical meaning. If you let someone in, you admit someone to a room or a building. However, in many songs, this expression is used to talk about letting someone into your heart and allowing yourself to fall in love with that person. It's the risk that I'm taking. I am never going to shut you out. If you shut somebody out, it means that you exclude a person. You should be shut out from a conversation and not take part in it. Everywhere I'm looking now, I'm surrounded by your embrace. Baby, I can see your halo. You know you are my saving grace. The expression saving grace is very interesting and it is not that common. It's used to describe a good thing that saves a negative experience or a good quality that makes a bad or unpleasant person think better or more acceptable. The play's only saving grace was the excellent actors. By saying this, Beyonce is implying that he makes her life better. You are everything I need and more. It's written all over your face. The expression written all over your, somebody's face is great to learn and make part of your vocabulary. It refers to something that is evident by a person's expression. Her guilt was written all over her face. As you can see here, the meaning is not literal. However, Beyonce is implying that this feeling is evident to her by only looking at him. Some Somebody pinch me, your love's too good to be true. Turn the lights on. Somebody pinch me, it's commonly used to say that you can't believe something that's happening and you feel like you are dreaming. So you tell someone, pinch me so that I wake up from this dream. My guilty pleasure, I ain't going anywhere. A guilty pleasure is something that someone enjoys but will be kind of embarrassed by if other people found out about it. For example, a guilty pleasure could be a movie, a book, food, music, etc. Baby, long as you're, you're here, I be floating on air cause you are mine. The expression floating on air means that you are extremely happy and it is often used to say that you are in love. You can say you gotta go and no other chick spending your dough. In this phrase, we have two crazy languages. First, we have one that you've probably heard before as it is very common, chick. This word means girl. Do you know the slang meaning of the second word though? Do you know the slang meaning of the second word though? B, money. This is taking a toll, the way the story unfolds. If someone taking a toll on you, it means that it is causing you suffering or damage. Too much sunlight can take a toll on your skin. Your haters corny with that illuminative mess. If you describe something as corny, you mean that it's obvious, showing no new ideas and not original at all. Paparazzi, catch my fly, and my cocky fresh. Here we have another crazy language. Fly, it uses as a synonym for cool or awesome. I'm so reckless when I rock my Givenchy dress. Silent. If you say that someone is reckless, you mean that that person acts in a way which shows that they don't care about the consequences of their acts. Up in the club, just broke up. I'm doing my own little thing. Beyonce is using the phrase up in the club to say that she's, a, she's out partying in a nightclub because she's just broke up with her partner. You decided to dip, but now you want to trip. Cause another brother noticed me. The word dip means leaving suddenly or abruptly. And to trip means to lose your core in the situation. In other words, to get angry. The word brother is commonly used to refer to a male friend. However, here, Beyonce is using this word just to talk about another man. Okay, that's it.